I see a little patch of blue sky I'm right out here, right about where that number four is. I head up here and check out Clockus Lake. But it doesn't right, I'm heading up Clockus Inlet. And there's a bear right in there. Little guy. Looks like about 100, and maybe 125 pound cub. I don't think he's seen me yet. Oh, there he saw me. All right, here's a nice little beach. I'm gonna pull up there and clean out the fish and grab a bite to eat before I push on. And, but there's a nice, pretty good sized creek right there. I land to the sound of dogs howling. Maybe this is somebody's property back here. Hello? Oh, that's weird. Seems to be getting farther away. That's a bizarre noise. Definitely sounds like a hound dog though. Nothing mysterious about it. Choked up hound dog. It sounded like it was real close in the beginning. Definitely moving away from me. Huh. They're Alaska mystery. All right. This turned out to be a pretty nice day. Had some lunch, cleaned those fish out. Have no idea what's making this howling noise. Sounds like dogs, but it sounds like several of them. And it's kind of weird, they keep coming further and further away. Further, closer, further, closer. Yeah. Maybe Bigfoot raises dogs back here. Try yelling again. Hello! This is a domesticated dog, I don't think it would run away. Kind of, it's like all over that region. Sounds like it's a quarter mile away, and then it sounds like it's a couple hundred yards away. And There's definitely at least three animals going on back there. Well, it's quite a mystery. So, I'm gonna get back in the boat, go around the corner. Mystery of the howl 
remains a mystery. That howl was coming over that way a few hundred yards. I'm on a little bay right around the corner. Probably should have pulled in here to clean my fish. It's a little calmer. It's a little windy out there. But it is what it is. So I figure that little lake, does that make any sense? The little lake is the stream that's just around the corner and then that little cove that's just above it is this cove that I'm in. And it sticks back out and I'm about a mile from Clackus Lake. The river that would be out there to Clackus Lake would be a much bigger bay. It doesn't make any sense that there's domesticated animals um, on that river there because there's no way to get a boat in and out of there. Unless someone just lives there and then goes, comes and goes by float plane or something. But it sounded like there was three of them. Three hound dogs, long howls. I kind of moved around a lot. I don't think I'm gonna get an answer. But, who knows? I'm gonna push on around the corner and, and try to find the entrance to Clockus Lake. But who knows what that was. I'm about a mile north of that beach I cleaned the fish out on. And you can see from the, the ridge line coming down into a valley. It looks like that is definitely the river mouth for Clackus River. And Clackus Lake should be just behind that ridge. It shouldn't be more than a half mile inland. It might be a brackish water lake of some type and I can just uh, wait until high tide comes. Oh, there's salmon jumping at the mouth. Maybe that's what I'll do, fish salmon. I definitely saw a salmon jump. Yeah, this is most definitely a bunch of salmon down here at the mouth of the Clackus. Waiting to go up to that lake. It should be possible to catch them. And I'm going to troll through first with a pink spoon, pink and white spoon. It usually irritates them into biting. No weight, real shallow, real quiet, so don't spook them. If that doesn't work, then I'll get out the twitch jig and twitch in their face. It's just, uh, they're not likely to feed when they're this close to fresh water. No signs of them jumping anymore. Maybe they moved upstream. Well, it certainly is a waterfall. Pretty close to max low tide. Oh yeah, there's a big waterfall there. I'm seeing, uh, must be sockeye salmon jumping up it. Excellent. So I tied the boat up there. I'm gonna go check this out. I don't know. Sockeye are the only fish I know that jump at low tide. Everything else is pretty lazy. But they're pretty big fish. Good eight pounders. Sockeye is absolutely delicious. Love to be able to get one of those. But I'm not pulling up that. Those raptors up there hanging out. Yeah, I just saw a big salmon jump up there. That's a spectacular waterfall. Yeah, I'm not pulling my kayak up that one.
Oh yeah, excellent setup. There's a big pool there. Oh, you see that salmon go? The salmon are trying to make it up. I'm on precarious footing here, but they look like uh, look like sockeye, which would be absolutely fantastic. Mm. Yeah, right. They're jumping into that pool up there. Right there. On the left side. Trying to get another one to go up. There's a bunch of them in there. Ah, oh, they're just not making it. That's a long way to go. They must be stacked up under there. Oh yeah, I can see them. They're poking their heads out. Getting real anxious. Ah, they must be sockeye. Ah, I can see them in the, in the water there. Coming up. They must be down in this pool too. Awesome. Yeah, there's like a double pool set up. This pool, up into that pool, and then the waterfall, and they're trying to get up. Look at them go. Oh, some of them are half, yeah, they're making it up into that first pool. I gotta get my fishing gear. Look at them going. Must be sockeye or coho. They're not pink. Pink wouldn't do that. Pink are lazy. Definitely not chum, but they're eaters. Oh yeah, they're right down there too. Yeah, I'm gonna bring the spinning spinning gear up here and see if I can get into one. <laughs> 